Hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel. I am Shantae, the mother of the three gorgeous Pom Pom Sisters. And before we go any further, let me not forget to remind you to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey bestie, hey mama, hey friend. Hope you are being blessed and safe as always. But let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So we have the oldest daughter, Kalia, starting off with the first. And we are doing four triangle part so it's pretty much like an x in the middle of the head and i go ahead and section off these sections using some clips her hair has been freshly washed but i have not detangled yet and homegirl is in need of a detangling so i'm going in with the pretty strands moisture leave in conditioning spray very lightweight spray and it does wonders i'm going in with my tangle teaser and i start off at the ends and work my way up and as you can see i am struggling because that hair was tangled okay the last hairstyle she had in i left the back out and honey whoo so this is all of her shed hair her last wash day was like three weeks ago so i did expect to have a little bit more shed hair than usual i'm then going to go in with the pretty strands of butter benefits this is a nice a thick creamy butter love to use it on Kalia's hair. I'm very heavy handed with this product as well because Kalia's hair soaks it up. But it gives her hair such shine, definition, and softness. Love it. I'm going to twist it up and then bantu knot it back up and we're going to move on to the next section so we can finish detangling the rest of her hair. So after 45 minutes of my time has passed, here we are with Kalia finish all of her detangle and this is all of her hair now that may look like a lot but Kalia also has a lot of hair so that ain't that is barely anything for Kalia so let's go ahead and start working in these sections that we already have sectioned off so I'm starting off with the first one and I'm going in with my pretty strands hair oil and I am applying that throughout the entire strand starting from the roots and all the way in and I definitely concentrate on the ends now I wanted to do some triangle parts and I saw this like quick way an easy way to do triangle parts on tiktok and i did not save the video so i cannot shout out the person who gave me this great idea so pretty much though that x that we have our four triangles we're just gonna work in triangles like it's nothing but geometry here i don't know why i never thought of it it was genius absolutely genius like, like there's no way to mess up these triangles because everything's already triangle like I love it absolutely love it so I'm doing some simple twists because I didn't want anything like too manipulative for Kalia and I also want this style to last for at least a couple of weeks because daddy and I plan on going on vacation and I cannot rely on anybody else to do Kalia's hair other than myself because everybody's so afraid to do her hair I mean if you've seen the amount of hair this child have I mean you would be intimidated I, like it, it's completely understandable what other people especially my in-laws do not like doing Kalia's hair So as you can see here, we turned our big triangle into a uh, smaller triangles. Genius, absolutely genius. This is so easy. And I always struggle with triangle parts. This was so freaking simple. So we're gonna do this in the other three remaining triangles that we have left and that'll be it. I added in some butterfly clips later off screen just to, you know, add a little pizzazz and then I oiled her scalp down this is Kalia's favorite part I ain't gonna lie I love getting my scalp oil mm, it's just something about it and then voila there she is look at those triangles everything looks symmetrical mm, I, I, there was a reason why I had an A in geometry y'all All right, let's go ahead and move on to the middle child, Kaylani herself. Here she is freshly washed, and we're going to go ahead and get into styling and detangling. It is just something about a half up, half down style that I just love doing a Kalani. Like doing those front decorative styles and then like putting the back in like a bun or letting her rock her curls. 
it literally has to be the favorite style I love doing on her because I swear that's all I do. I'd be like, no, let me switch it up. And I end up doing a variation of some kind of half up, half down. So that's pretty much what we're doing here. So we did a part from uh, ear to ear going across the top of the head. And then I'm going in with my Shine Effects Conditioning Gel to clean up those parts, honey. Because y'all know we love a clean part. So then I decided to do a diagonal. We made a big triangle going across the front of her hair. And I decided to make little squares in that triangle and connect the dots. So here I'm giving you a close-up of how I do her connect the dots. I first kind of rubber band the section that I want and then merge in the hair as I'm rubber banding. I probably, you know, rotate maybe two or three times and then finally add in the hair. And it makes it so much simpler. Um, I don't have to use like two to three rubber bands to get it as neat as possible. So this is the end result. And now it's time to do the back. I'm going in with the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Leave-In Conditioner. I love this stuff on Kaylani's hair. It performs so well and it keeps her curls so moisturized like oh my gosh so I decided to go in with two ponytails so I went ahead and divided what was in the back in half and then our little ponytail that was left in the front is going to be combined with the ponytail in the back to make two ponytails at the we finish everything so then I'm then gonna go in with my boar bristle bristle brush I swear that is a tongue twister for me boar bristle brush and as you can see I'm smoothing in her curls as well as that product and then I kind of like twirl it around and I like to keep it in that clump form and then we're gonna squish all of that together we're gonna clump it all up in our hands and just squish 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 I did diffuse it on a uh, high heat for a little bit, maybe about five minutes. And I added these cute little sunflower clips in the back because you know springtime is here and we're so excited. And that is it for Kehlani. Now it's time to move on to baby girl boo. All right, so we are refreshing Callista's weekly hairstyle. So she had those bubble braid ponytails and now it is Wednesday. So it's time for her to get redone. So I'm going in with the Texture ID Curls Refresher Spray. Love this stuff. If you don't want to use just like ordinary water, this is a very good like substitute. Just so it, because it has like a little bit of oil in it. So it kind of adds that shine and moisture rather than just a plain old water. So I'm uh, smoothing that on through and then I'm going to go in with my Shine Effects Conditioning Gel to lay down my baby's edges. And we're going to ponytail it up. So we had a triangle already in her head from the last hairstyle. So. I decided to kind of just keep the theme throughout the hair so I'm just creating more triangles from that center part and we're just pretty much dividing it all up like it's a pizza honey and then create small little cute ponytails and there you have it she has five triangle parts at the end so now it's time to figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of this hair so I added in some hair bobbles because I haven't used them in a while and boo loves them she thinks they're adorable and so I try I saw this cute little idea on Instagram see Instagram Pinterest and TikTok they be having me doing things I don't have no business doing so I saw this idea where you kind of it's like a bubble braid where you rubber band maybe an inch or two down and then you kind of like flare it out but this one you flip it inside out versus creating that little puff bubble um maybe boo wasn't the the person i should have did this style on this is what it looked like and it just looked stringy i didn't like it and on, on pinterest and instagram it kind of looked i don't know maybe because boo's hair is just kind of fine i don't think this is the style for her so if you have fine hair mm, don't try this for your baby all right so i took them out because i didn't like them and i decided to just go with some regular twists because you know why not i rubber banded up and of course we're keeping the theme using the color green laid down my baby's edges and she is pretty much done i added in some green clips excuse my baby's face i didn't realize that we did not clean her face before we started recording but she thinks she cute so that's all that matters Well, that finishes our video for the girls' styles for the week. Thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.